Hi, my name is Sridhar Rangayan. I'm the festival director of Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival, which is having its 12th edition right now. And we have the second weekend. Uh, you must have already watched a lot of LGBTQ films over the first weekend, which is the Discovery Weekend. This weekend is called Acceptance Weekend. And we are really privileged and proud to present uh, the film, which is going to be the narrative centerpiece, The Lawyer uh, from Lithuania. And we have the director, Romus, and the lead actor, Amos, uh, here with us to speak about the film and about the conditions uh, in Lithuania for LGBTQ community. So welcome to the Q&A session. Thank you for joining in. Hello, and thank you. And thank you so much for this invitation. I'm super proud to have our film selected as a centerpiece in your festival. Uh, uh, Romus, the first question is to you. What was your experience as a gay man growing up in Lithuania? Yeah, I mean, uh... I grew up in a supporting family and, you know, I'm very, I feel very privileged to be surrounded by supportive friends and, and I'm also in a certain power position as a director and producer of my own films. So, you know, I'm telling people what to do and I'm not being discriminated at work, uh, but, uh, you know, certainly it has many challenges and for LGBT plus community in general. For myself, I came out 10 years ago in Lithuania when I presented my short film, Porno Melodrama, and there weren't many out people back then. So I became kind of famous overnight and I gave all these interviews about, you know, what it means to be gay in Lithuania. And now little by little, uh, there was a lot more diversity in Lithuania and I'm very happy about that. And now there are a lot more LGBT plus people out. And I think that's important. And I'm proud that I had uh, an opportunity to contribute to that. Thank you, that's really beautiful. In fact, like when I came out, uh, it was like in 1990, I'm actually 59 now, so I'm a Dido's here actually. Mm -hmm. But like I came out in 1990 and it was really at that point in time, nobody was speaking about LGBTQ rights in India. Uh, uh, the word gay was just about being whispered. So it's been a challenge and I understand your challenges uh, also being one of the earliest person to come out. But what, uh, why was it important for you to tell the story of a gay refugee from Syria? I mean, what made you take up this particular uh, film subject? You know? Well, thank you for your work and thank you for being out. Mm -hmm. um, for, for, for my film, I mean, I was actually interested in this team of privilege. And already by answering your first question, I mentioned that I consider myself privileged in many ways. And, and I feel like it's interesting how a person can come from a, a marginalized group, but can still be privileged in other ways. So the lawyer Marius, of course, is, uh, is well, rich relatively in Lithuania. Uh, and so a refugee story is kind of like a, a contrast and a different person in a very different situation. So it's really, uh, I'm coming from that perspective. It's also a little bit personal because the way that I um, thought about privilege was through my own loss. So I lost my father six years ago, just as the lawyer Marius does in the film. And, you know, that kind of, uh, that changed my values a little bit and the way I look at life. Uh, but also I realized that I'm privileged even in my own mourning because you know, I have uh, the support circle and friends and family and people who are escaping war, the refugees who are escaping war, they don't have all that. So that was interesting for me. And in general, you know, I'm interested in what's happening in the world and in Lithuania. And I'm interested to look beyond the headlines. You know, oftentimes we hear the most tragic stories and the refugees are portrayed as heroes or, or as victims in the media. But I'm interested to you know, portray both of these characters as complex and human. And humans you know, make mistakes, humans are not ideal. But by portraying them that way, I feel like we can reconnect with our humanity and we can empathize with them. And you know, unfortunately, the political situation of the Syrian crisis remains relevant today. Really, I mean, like your film uh, operates on so many different layers as a, a gay film, as a film about uh, refugees and so many other things. We'll talk about it as we go along. But I must like, how did the role come to you? 
uh, you're an actor and uh, how did you agree to do this particular very, very challenging role? Actually, um, uh, in Lithuania, I am more theater actor and uh, just sometimes uh, had uh, some maybe like comedy movies, um, commercial movies uh, in the cinema, but not a lot, of course. And I, actually, I was dreaming uh, about something serious, you know, because I was thinking and talking with, with myself. Oh, my God, if it, it, it's, it will be that I never will play in some serious movie what's going on i'm that actor or i or uh, maybe uh, all directors thinking that i'm just only comedy actor because working in the comedy theater and one day i get a message from or email letter from from romas and he wrote uh, that he want to uh, invite me to the casting and he said before what about this role what uh, about some scenes uh, and he asked me i agree to, to try to, 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 to my chance in, in this casting or not. Uh, of course, I would like to try and said, I said, yes, of course. And then it was a funny story. I came to the casting and I, I was waiting from the director the script or something like that. He asking me, so are you ready? I have prepared. Did you, did you read uh, already this, uh, some scenes? I said, no, 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 I didn't get nothing come from you. He said, no, I sent for, uh, for you an email i said no you didn't send me an email <laughs> and he okay then i i really found in my e in, in a lot of letters i found drama's email i wasn't prepared for that you know oh my god it was so strange so we we read together first time and he drama said that no no it's it's not like that maybe you can try one more time and he gave me some 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 um recommendation or some uh, script um, explanation and then he said oh okay it's interesting so after i don't remember maybe a few meetings again romas told me that he want to work with me in this movie and send all the script and i read the script i really fall in love about the story i really want to play this role i I wasn't sure that I can do that like actor. I was always confusing that it's maybe it's the role not for me, but I really like this role. So I really try is start to prepare to, to, to learn a little bit much more better English language because uh, it's always for me a little bit difficult uh, to play in English language. Finally, we start rehearsals. Finally, we start uh, shooting days. And I, 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 I had... Uh, one of most wonderful uh, my acting life period uh, with the per with the rehearsals and, and and shootings as well until these days the movie already done two years ago yeah um, but but still we are going in the nice and beautiful traveling around the world so I'm, I'm I appreciate about this situation that we are talking now with Indian people so thanks a lot. <laughs> Yeah, thanks a lot, Amos. But uh, Robus, what made you cast Amos? I mean, uh, how do you think, uh, why did you think you approached him and uh, why did you finally select him to play the role? Well, um, I knew Amos uh, from theater, uh, mostly. Mm, and he played very important queer roles in, the, in different uh, Lithuanian plays earlier on. And, and now he has a different career but I knew him from there and so you know I was interested to try but I really I didn't I, I didn't know you know it wasn't like some kind of advanced decision but then during the casting I was very surprised about Amuta's possibility to kind of shift his acting and and to do something very different you know something that I enjoy and so um and I was very happy with it. And so I invited him to work together. And I don't know, for me, it's such a great uh, collaboration, you know, and I feel like Amutis is a really beloved actor in, in Lithuania. So it attracted a diverse audience in Lithuania as well. I don't know, I'm, I'm really happy about that. So, so you know, yeah, that, that's why I made that decision and that's how it all right. worked out. And Amos, like, um, do you think, like, I mean, acting in a, uh, a, a lead role as a queer person, as a gay man, 
would affect your chances uh, to do other roles? It's difficult to say because, uh, you know, before this movie, I had some uh, gay roles in the theater. Of course, I was thinking, oh, my God. And, and I was thinking before, yeah. Oh, my God, maybe after this role, uh, yeah, I never can play like a straight man or something like that. But... Um, like I saw, no, of course, it's very difficult. Maybe, I don't know, in the future, maybe nobody invite me like in the cinema uh, to play like straight man role or, but I'm happy that really we have good connection with Roma Zabarowskas. And I hope so that we, in the future, we will have uh, uh, other movies uh, to play gay roles or, or something like that, maybe some travesty or maybe, or maybe Romas one day invite me to play in his movie, the straight man role. Oh, of course, I'm joking, you know, but um, like I decided to, to play in this movie, yes, I was a little bit thinking about that, but uh, I'm feeling strong uh, about my decision and I think, yeah, we will see, we will saw, maybe, you know, maybe the world are changing uh, actually in Lithuania the same. I'm sure you can adapt to any role, uh, but thank you for sharing those thoughts. Uh, Romas, like, I mean, you have this very interesting character of a trans man, you know, uh, in the film. And uh, do you think there's so much of stigma around trans men and non-binary persons? What is the situation in Lithuania there for them? Yes, I think certainly uh, this is a big problem and I feel like, uh, you know, well, we don't have a proper laws, proper health care for trans people, um, but we do have uh, more and more visibility on that and as well. And so I'm very proud to say that the actor uh, who played this role, Danilas Pavilonis, he is trans and he is sharing uh, his personal experiences openly in the public. So when we presented the movie, um, he gave an interview to one of the most popular TV guides, weekly guides in Lithuania, and he was on the cover of the magazine. So that was very nice uh, kind of historical, um, historical role and historical attention from the media for, for that role. So I'm proud. Uh, we, we contributed to that as well. Well, I have previously uh, written and published a book called uh, Lithuania Comes Out 99 LGBT plus stories that involved uh, different stories, you know, uh, from, from, well, LGBT plus uh, Lithuanians, their photos and names. Uh, and so that involved Danila's story as well. So the, the book was published in 2016 and that's how we met with, with Danila. So that was kind of long-term, um, well, collaboration, or I would say just kind of connection with Danila. And I crafted the role knowing that, you know, he could, he could do it. So, so it's actually very special, you know, this role. And I'm glad you noticed it. Uh, we need to encourage more uh, uh, participation by transgender actors. Uh, Romas, your previous film from 2013, We Will Ride, is about a DG with a Lithuanian father and an African-American mother who goes to his roots in wilderness. Uh, uh, before that, your film, uh, Porno Melodrama, was about state homophobia in Lithuania forcing emigration out of the country. Could you please explain your fascination with emigration and return? And is there a personal story there? Oh, <laughs> well, this is a very interesting question. You know, this is a very original one. It's not, not something I get all the time. So I think uh, it is true that, as you notice this, this topic, I think it's linked uh, with my own experience, uh, which is different, but, but it has something in, similar with that, is that, you know, I studied abroad. So um, I studied in, in Paris and I, I graduated in film in Paris University, in Paris 8, and I had an exchange year in New York. So, you know, that, that experience, so uh, in short film porno melodrama, you know, they want to emigrate to Paris. And, you know, I did that, that short film during my summer break. I returned from Paris to do that film in Lithuania. 
And then, you know, we will ride. I knew that I was going to study in New York. So I decided to develop a project between New York and Lithuania. So it's all very practical also, you know, linked with my own life. Um, but, uh, but yeah, obviously it's also a, a broader uh, topic and also my other film, You Can't Escape Lithuania. It's a road uh, trip, uh, you know, that, that they're trying kind of to leave Lithuania. So, you know, I think it's linked with this broader, broader subject, uh, you know, about us as queer people, our, our relationship with our home, you know, with our countries, because oftentimes it's not so friendly and we are longing for something different from something else. And whether we do migrate or not, but it's always on our minds. And so maybe it's linked with that. Thank you really for sharing your personal thoughts. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Emitters, like, I mean, uh, so how did uh, the film affect you personally or helped you grow your thoughts? You know? Mm -hmm. Of course, I had wonderful experience with the different actors. I had wonderful, how to say, maybe studies or learning about um, uh, acting in the movie. And what my teacher was uh, Roma Zabarowski. And, you know, before this movie, some of my uh, roles in the movie are... I'm not happy about them uh, before because I, I till the uh, the lawyer movie I I I wasn't sure how to play in the movie. But one of the important thing I think uh, how I grow like a human uh, this experience with the refugees uh, about the story the the experience in in Belgrade uh, refugee camp where we had uh, shootings day there. Uh, we met with, with, with real refugees. Uh, after that, when I just come back in Lithuania, after uh, I wrote a few letters in some Lithuanian organizations, organizations who are working with the refugees, and I get answer from um, that I want to be a volunteer. And I get answer from uh, Red Cross organization, and I start to uh, volunteer there working with the um, refugees, people from different countries who are at the moment in Lithuania. So after this movie, um, I grow, um, I get a much more human understanding and uh, an understanding that the world are very hard and sometimes very angry, not sometimes actually, and just only good people and love can something to do that the world will be better maybe it sounds like you know not very seriously but but but, but i i believe in love and i believe in the good people so and i believe that we have to 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 to, to help to each other and and to be together it's such an amazing story that the film led you to basically become a volunteer to work with migrant issues like that's really brilliant and thank you for volunteering your time to work on the issues. Uh, Romas, uh, um, uh, currently homosexuality has become a hot topic within the EU. The European Parliament has voted in favor of urgent legal action over Hungary's new law banning the depiction of homosexuality to under 16. What do you feel about the rise of anti-LGBT sentiment among some governments in Eastern Europe? It's not that much of a rise, you know, it was always there, I think it's just, it's just that now that LGBT plus community is becoming more vocal and more open, even in our own countries in the Eastern Europe, then there is this reaction from the wider society that is still afraid and, and you know, negative, negative towards us. And so, you know, this is the fight we, we need to fight. And this is the, the history we need to write, you know, so. That's, that's, that's how I feel. I mean, obviously this is sad and, you know, I'm happy the European Union is taking steps. At the end of the day, it's gonna be, well, LGBT plus people themselves and our supporters, you know, who will need to fight this fight and, and you know, achieve the, the equality. And so, you know, it's gonna be a long road. It's gonna be difficult and it's very painful, but we need to do this. The Lawyer is a beautiful film, 
but it's a very, I would say, uh, layered and very sensitive, but also very serious film, according to me. Uh, uh, so that's like, there is humor, but humor is much more uh, lesser. So uh, are you planning, what's your next uh, film project about? Thank you. Well, I cannot tell you what's my, my <laughs> next project <laughs> about, okay. but, but I can tell you that I got good news this week. So this is a public information. So I feel like I can tell that. Um, Lithuanian Film Center announced the results of their new like funding call and my new project got funded for development. So not yet for the production, but for the first stage for develop for development. So, uh, and the name it's written there. So it's also public. The name is The Activist. Wow, okay, that's already, the name is very strong already, wow, awesome. Let's wait for the film for sure. And what's been the reaction to the, uh, your uh, film, The Lawyer, across the festival circuit? Have you had any physical screenings? Have you been able to gauge the reaction of the audiences? Yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful uh, and very proud of <laughs> our journey. So last year in 2020, in March, the film had to premiere at British Film Institute Flair Festival, BFI Flair. That was canceled due to pandemic. That was the beginning of the pandemic. But the British critics still saw the film and uh, there were many great <coughs> reviews. I'm very happy about that. About that. And then uh, despite the pandemic, our film until today was invited to 30 film festivals, well, today to 31st, I got an email actually. <laughs> and so um, among them, the film was selected to seven ceremonies for various LGBT plus film festivals. Um, so opening or closing or centerpiece as yours. It did have some theatrical screenings also in these festivals and some online. And then uh, we did have the chance to show the film in the Lithuanian cinemas in between the two lockdowns. And we went with the Emotus to present the film in different cities and we got very warm reactions really. And then, um, and it was sold also to eight LGBT plus distributors. Or oh, I, not, not only LGBT actually, but yeah, so eight international distributors. And uh, now that the pandemic has started to be finished, we finally have an opportunity to present the film abroad in person. So a few weeks ago, uh, I went to this French tour and presented the film in festivals in Lyon, Toulouse and Paris. Emutis joined me in Paris. We had a closing night of Chérie Chérie, so we were very happy about that and very proud. And last week I went to present the film in Berlin and there are some more mm, traveling planned for the next half a year. So I'm very happy, very, very grateful. And, you know, I'm so happy. Like, of course the film might have been shown. I mean, it was planned that it would have been shown in different countries in cinemas and that was canceled, but, but come on, I have so much to be happy about. So I'm really just so happy and grateful and, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to give back to you, you know, in my own way. So, right, absolutely. Yeah. Filmmaking is definitely giving back because it reaches the sentiments to a, such a large audience. Uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, Amos, like, so how was the reception uh, when you went to uh, um, the uh, French festival uh, and in person watching uh, uh, on the big screen uh, your film and what has been the reactions? How has it been? Oh, it was... Um, uh... Uh, remind me something like um, the premiere in Lithuania was uh, uh, one year ago. Yeah, so something similar because a lot of people. Uh, it was really nice that um, just a um, small part of people were Lithuanian people who are living in, in Paris. So uh, it was really um, amazing to 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 hear the good reaction from the audience because you understand that they are following the story. They are catching the script. They are catching the, the story. So I'm really. Really was happy, you know. Before 
like by myself i'm always uh, nervous before like like everything everybody i think uh, i was nervous before the paris premiere i was thinking oh my god or maybe in the middle of the movie uh, the audience starting to go out from the <laughs> from the cinema and that how it will be terrible how to that of course it it it, it happened it, it wasn't like that so everything was good and yeah a lot of good reaction after after the the movie yeah, we are talking about so i'm i really really happy that this movie Movie, uh, traveling a lot of the world and I will, I'm happy that our movie in India as well and and like I'm joking uh, after this movie I got a lot of friends in Instagram from uh, Chinese to Brazil and I'm so happy I'm communicated sometimes we are discussing about the movie about the different countries about the life yeah <laughs> so people also must be asking to date you because like uh, you're <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I don't remember. Maybe nobody asked me about the date, but but we are talking. If if some of them like like one 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 man from from Chinese, I think yeah, he said that if one he would like to one day to to, to travel to Lithuania, I said oh, you are always welcome if you want just uh, some help or or something. If I will have free time, I can show you the Vilnius. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really cool. And I wish we had a, a, a in ground festival because we do kashish at uh, uh, this old art deco theater which is a thousand two hundred seats you know and you pretty much fill up so you imagine uh, having your film premiering at thousand uh, two hundred people watching at the same time i wish it was uh, that way but unfortunately because of the pandemic uh, mm -hmm. but at least like we're getting to talk to you on uh, uh, online so that's fantastic and um, thank you for joining the q and a uh, really appreciate and uh, do you want to say anything else romas well, such a nice conversation and you know thank you for all these very meaningful questions and very important questions and i'm just so really so grateful you know to be screened at this festival and i hope people will enjoy our movie and uh, you know thank you so much and uh, best regards from Lithuania. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Romus and uh, Amos for joining the conversation. And if uh, audiences are watching this Q&A online, if you have any questions for Romus or Amos, please put it here in the comment box and I'll make sure they see that and uh, uh, answer the questions uh, here itself. And there's still one more weekend of Kashi still uh, happening. And the third weekend is going to be Pride weekend. If you have not got your tickets yet, please go and register at mumbaiqfs.com and uh, buy a weekend pass for the Pride weekend and get to see a lot of LGBTQ films, beautiful films from different countries like uh, Roma's film, The Lawyer from Lithuania. Thank you so much for joining in. Mm -hmm.